Hi everyone! Uh, as you know, I'm here in Orlando for the World Golf Fitness Summit and I have the pleasure to uh, talk, I've been talking a lot and I wanted to introduce you to Africa. Africa is a head strength and conditioning coach and trainer uh, in Brazil for golf and yeah, I just wanted to um, take this moment, to take this opportunity to um, yeah, talk with you and uh, chat about, I mean, obviously we live in both different separate sides of the world, Brazil and Holland, but uh, what have you been seeing in kind of the trends that's been going on for golf and specific training for that, for your golfers? Has it always been um, yeah, uh, natural that golfers just add the physical part to their, uh, to their game? Well, actually, I started 10 years ago, and at the beginning, I was the only person doing that in Brazil. And I started by going to golf clubs and introducing myself to golf coaches and saying, well, I'm here if you want to bring your clients to do some warm-ups or stretching afterwards. I'm here to help and that. And at the beginning, I remember golf coaches and, and also players were like, no, I don't need that. That's gonna make me tired. Uh, I'd rather not to because <laughs> my swing is gonna feel different. So I'd rather not to do that. And it was really weird for me because I was like, come on, you're not playing chess. You're doing a sport, a yes. rotational sport with power. So yes. you need to be prepared for it. Yes, yes. Wow, that's amazing. And then um, they saw you and they uh, started working with you and you worked with them on strength, but also mobility. And uh, tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, well, uh, my my first uh, initial entrance to the golf world was through Pilates, actually. My company was called Golf Pilates at the beginning. Yeah. And I use a lot of the principles of Pilates, the breathing, the actual, uh, the stretching and the fluidity of movement Just and breathing. bilaterally. Yeah. yeah, so at the beginning was really my goal. But after a couple of years, I realized that I was lacking a little bit of power and speed development mm -hmm. with the athletes because that's something that that you don't have with Pilates, right? No. Yeah. So I started going a little bit more towards uh, functional training. I love kettlebells. Oh, yes. I love weightlifting. Yeah. yeah. And today, I, I would say my training is a mixture of mobility and coordination drills, but also power, strength, speed. And what I do with my amateurs is a little bit of, uh, I call it a multivitamin, because yes, we they are, yeah, yeah. They, they work in all day long, sitting on a desk, driving, eating, they're always sitting, so they lack a lot of mobility, and they lack a lot of body awareness. So oh, yes. I work a lot with uh, coordination and posture control for them, mm -hmm. but sometimes they need a little bit extra, because everybody's aging right so everybody lose speed and strength yeah. and you don't want to be a frail old guy uh, sitting on the golf range just like hitting short <laughs> balls right everybody wants to hit it farther and you can do it that even and after 50 or after yeah. 60 hit it further but also uh, play longer uh -huh. uh, so, um, so you can have fun and have fun yeah, yeah. for a long long time yeah. well Thank you so much, Africa. Um, if you don't follow her already, I will link everything from her uh, down below here. It's um, yeah, been a pleasure talking with you and catching up with you because I mean we've been connected online yes. and now we finally <laughs> met. But yeah, definitely go and follow her. And if you're ever in Brazil, that's visit me. Can. Yeah, yes. come to Brazil. <laughs> we have beautiful courses in Brazil and we have a uh, season all year oh. long. We yeah. don't have snow. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Well, thanks again. Thank you very much. And um, yeah, enjoy the rest of uh, today at the World Cup. I will. Thank nice. you. <laughs>